it's just delicate. Um, Quince, there's a real nutty, malty oak that's just well in the background. Um, dried flowers, a little bit of uh, melon in there as well. It's not cloying. Um, it's just got a, a really lovely, delicate, minerally finish with a just a touch of French vanilla on the end. It, it's just a, a beautiful wine that you know I could just wallow in all night. I think the beauty of this wine is that you know it, it's got you know instant appeal, but then you look at the oak character that it has, and it, it's it's super complex too. Like you know the malt. I made a similar comment about the the oak, like a yeah. really multi oak, but you know sort of candied peel and. Um, it had flowers and you know, just a, a really beautiful wine. I think no. it's the, the, the savoury aspects of this wine, I think, are uh, uh, at least as interesting, if not more interesting, than, than, than the sweeter aspects. That you know, there's that um, uh, there's a bit of a candy ginger. Um, uh, even, even the Botrytis aromatics on it are really quite savoury Botrytis. So this would be stunning to sit down and have a small glass of this with some good pâté foie gras before the meal and then finish it with dessert. So it's the start and the end of the meal because it's just an absolutely fun expression of ball terror. It's brilliant. Um, I'm actually loving this. I think it's... Um rich enough to only have at the end of a meal. I'd have this at the end of the meal. I'd be having this with nuts and cheeses and, and dried fruits and things. I think it's lovely. Really nice. 